If you have one of these radio control airplanes laying around broken and you're not able to fly it again because you, I don't know, you crashed it and then broke the tail or the wings or something, you may have a chance to fly a new airplane again. By using the electronic components in, from inside, you can create a new airplane and I'm going to teach you how I do that. This is a very fun radio control airplane, but today we're going to take it apart to use the electronics from inside to make another radio control airplanes by ourselves. So if you attempt to do this is by your own risk. I do not recommend doing this if your airplane it's okay because once you do this you might not be able to put it back together. So this is just in case you want to reuse the electronic components from this airplane. So that way you can recycle the parts and not throw it to the bin. If the electronic components are not working for some reason, then you should consider buying a new module that have everything you need. But if you're ready control and the electronics are not working, then you should get a new ready control and also some new electronics. But for the most part, you won't need to buy a new ready control. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing is, of course, removing everything from the main frame, which is very easy, but you have to be careful removing the module because sometimes the motors from the servos can detach from the main board and you have to be careful with that. Okay, so now it's time to build a new airplane. This time I'm gonna use some balsa wood to build this biplane. I'm going to leave you with a short version of the building process. So I measured the distance where I should place the electronics so the rods can reach the elevator and rudder. Remember to check the center of gravity because that's really important. If you hold the wings with your fingers at roughly 30% from the leading edge, it should balance. Also take in consideration while building the airplane that it should have a dihedro. The dihedro will make the airplane be able to turn left or right when using the rudder. A dihedro is a fancy word for angle, so this angle that you see here, it's roughly the angle that the airplane should have. And now that everything is ready, we can go out and fly.
As you can see, this airplane flies very well, is very gentle, but be careful flying on windy conditions. Fortunately, this day was not windy and the airplane was flying beautifully. Then I tried changing the configuration of the wing, but I had a lot of trouble trying to fly it. Airplane number two, made out of styrofoam. So here I am making a second airplane that we're going to test with the same electronic components. If you want to know more on how to make an RC airplane with this material, I have an entire video explaining this on detail. I'll leave the link on the screen or in the description of the video. To put the parts together, I will use epoxy glue. This is a very strong glue and I recommend using it on this kind of airplanes. Then I decided to use ailerons. This makes the configuration of the airplane tricky, because to move these ailerons I have only one servo and this servo is not strong enough, but I will try to do it. To make it work, I had to change the position of the electronics so that the servo is in line with the ailerons. Everything is ready now, let's go fly it. Unfortunately, this day is very windy, so it's gonna be a pain in the neck to fly this airplane. This airplane is very light, and like the other airplanes that have to be roughly the same weight, they don't handle the wind very well. Then, I decided that it was time for a third airplane. This time I'm going to use this balsa wood glider, which I did in a previous video, and we're going to put the electronics on it. This time, to control the elevator and rudder, I'm going to use strings. As you can see, I'm using a rubber band to maintain tension in the elevator, so I can move the elevator just with one side of the arm of the servo. This time I'm using a single motor with a small propeller. You can buy those separately as the other components, also you can find more batteries if you want more flight time. It's time to fly it again. but the weather won't help, it's still windy, but I'm going to try and fly it. It does a very good job at fighting against the wind. As you can see, it stays in the same position. But it's not enough. As you could see, I tried the electronics in three different airplanes. It's very easy and very fun. Thanks for watching this video, I hope you really like it. If you did, please leave a like and also consider subscribing and see you in the next project.